What is up? Ananooki Child here. Uh, filming here in the daughter's room. Lighting's a little better and that wind is god awful. Anyways, this is about the April 8th uh, solar eclipse. Uh, everything going on. No one's done any videos really that I've seen. It's just quick cut to the chase of everything that's happening on April 8th. Um, the day of the solar eclipse. So let's go through some of them. Um, first, uh, five planets will be aligned. So whenever the sun goes dark, those five planets will be grouped together. And for the first time, probably in our generation, during eclipse, we'll be able to see those five planets glowing like stars all clumped together. That should be pretty sweet. Uh, NASA is actually launching rockets into the eclipse. Three, three uh, rockets <clears throat> to uh, do some sort of studies. Who knows? Um, okay, now CERN is firing up its Haldron Collider. Um, you know, uh, the, uh, the particle accelerator hasn't been going for a while. And apparently on this particular day, during the total eclipse, they're going to get this thing going. Um, and start colliding particles and on their mission portal they say that they're opening gateways to something and letting something in or letting something go through so what exactly that is uh, only they know uh, red heifers are being sacrificed in Israel as far as I know most sacrifice animal sacrifice um, ended after Jesus's sacrifice so uh, Israel has granted these people to sacrifice these uh, red heifers, and that's like biblical, you know, it's, a, it's like all a prophecy, a lot of these things. Um, the uh, solar eclipse X marks the spot, this first time I like to where two solar poles cross over uh, in this certain point, and then the, the town names, it, it's all these uh, biblical type town names that all the that the uh, total eclipse goes over you just have you could do a whole video on on just the uh, coincidence of these names of the towns uh, this is occurring at uh, the devil's comet is coming through it's this big comet that they're calling the uh, demon or devil comet because it has horns and that's going to be uh, very visible uh, once once it goes dark um, cicadas or locusts, billions of them, uh, are going to be coming up from the ground. Uh, these cicadas haven't, they've been dormant since 1803, this particular creature, or these locusts. And uh, imagine these things have been underground since 1803, and they're coming out during this time period. Um, I think it's kind of weird that they're telling kids, you know, parents to keep their kids out, out of school. Uh, to stay home, to have groceries and gas. That's kind of weird. You know, it used to be they were special days at school where uh, the whole class would go out and view these things. But, um, yeah, now they're telling parents to keep their kids at home and to have extra food and gas. Uh, you know, revelation-type signs here, pro prophetic signs, like wars and rumors of wars, uh, the sun and moon will go dark, earthquakes, all these things are, are happening. Um... So yeah, stay ready, stay uh, locked and loaded. It, if the eclipse lasts longer than four minutes, then I would start to be worried. Um, then it's time to freak out. Or if, uh, or if it's a total eclipse everywhere, not just in that area that they're saying. But uh, anyway, that's a short video on uh, what's going down that day. Stay alert and keep your eyes to the skies and uh, be careful. Peace out.